Welcome to Strategy Battle Games on GBHL YouTube video. You're here with your host GBHL Damon. And GBHL Tom. And we are here with another video. Is that what we say? It's been yeah. a while. <laughs> with a video. With a video. Um, and rarity from us. Indeed, it's certainly a rarity from us as anyone who follows our meandering chat show, the plenty will know we've not been around for a while. And uh, the reason for that is I had a baby. Uh, well, Emma had a baby. Yeah, Emma did, Emma did most of the work. Um, yeah. But yes. Um, uh, gorgeous little daughter Charlotte was born two weeks ago today as we're recording this. No idea when you'll see this. It was probably longer than two weeks ago. Now, so it has affected the plantier schedule. Yeah. As we're aware, you know, we're sorry. <laughs> um, we will be back. Um, we don't know when, as I'm yeah. sure you're aware. Um, these things uh, take your t use your time up. But yes, all is well here. I'll use your time up. Yes, your time's fine, right? It's not really impacting on you much, is it? Uh, I will say this on the video in case it never gets anywhere else. Tom met Charlotte tonight for the first time. I, I, I kid you not, we, we handed her directly to Tom and as soon as she touched him, she threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Which I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. It was, it was an instant yeah, touch thing. Instant reaction. She was fine, <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> She was cute, she was happy, all was well in the world. She touched Tom and threw up, which um, we've all, we all have that reaction, I think, yeah. the first time we meet Tom. Um, so yes, we will, we will be back with, um, with the Palantir at some point, but we're not here for that today. No, no we're not. What are we here for, Tom? Um, we're here to have a, a little chin wag and give out a prize. A prize? A prize. For what? For, not much really, but for getting one of our magazines. Specifically, an issue four. Of SBG. of SBG, which we launched at Arlecon Last in year. October. Yes. So, is that six months ago yet? What, end of October? Yeah. Uh, three, three, March. Five, Five months ago. Five months ago, we launched uh, issue four. Um, thank you to mm -hmm. everyone who's um, kind of picked up a copy and donated to the cause. As always, we greatly appreciate it. Um, how's issue four doing, Tom? All right. Have we got any interesting facts about it? It has sold at a rate of 371% of issue 1. That's a no then. Oh, sorry, 371.4. Great. No interest in facts then, no? No. Cool. <laughs> so, so, Not one. <laughs> so, it's selling nearly four times, it's, it's donating yeah. nearly four, four times, times as fast as people donated to issue 1. Correct. Yeah? Okay, so thank you guys. Awesome to see people are still um, supporting the project. We. Really, really appreciate it. Um, thanks to everyone who's picked um, this up. If you don't um, have this or any of the other three, we still we currently have all four of them in stock. So um, just either pop something in the comments below or get in touch with us on spgmagazine at gmail.com. But you won't be able to pick up the prize, which was this year, Damien, for issue four. This year. Uh, it what? was a dull Gildor themed mm. little prize of the Fine Cast Gandalf. Oh. And a box of hunter orcs. And the point of this is because there's a little scenario in issue four of some hunter orcs chasing Gandalf around the dungeons of Dol Guldor. And we thought this um, this would be an awesome prize to um, give to people uh, to do that. This comes from our good friends at um, Old, to Old, Old Toby Wargaming. So thank you very much for the donation here. Uh, how does this work? What do we? Why? How do you win? But you win by. Um if you donate towards a magazine, for every two pounds you donate, so it just means people who are overseas um, get a little bit of a boosted chance because they have to give a little bit more for the postage. Um, it worked last time because Adam, myself, and Canada yeah, won it last time. So yeah, for every two pounds you get a ticket, and then yeah, we draw a winning ticket or the spreadsheet does. And as it says in the back of the magazine, the comp this competition closed on the twenty eighth of February two thousand seventeen. Um, so we're about a. What is it? The end of March? Yeah. We're, a few week, we're a few weeks late on doing this, but I'm sure you can understand why that was. Right. Um, so, what we've done... No excuses. Yeah, exactly. Tom, what, you're, you're the techno... I have for a spreadsheet, which we'll have to get the camera off and zoom in on. But basically, it says a win, and the winner is, and has a name, but I hit the kind of recalculate button. It swings through loads of names, and then we'll stop, and that will be the winner. Cool. So, we'll come back when we can look at the spreadsheet. Good luck. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, Max Clays, you haven't won. 
Uh, this is the default start screen. So what's going to happen is uh, Tom's going to hold the button down, the names will start swinging by, and then we'll do a countdown yep. from three, we'll let go, and then whoever gets um, whoever it lands on will be the winner of our lovely prize. Yep. So, so none of you have won yet, so should I get going? I think you probably should. Oh, oh and he's off! You let go, there go all the names, all the lovely people who have donated to issue four. And so, are we good? Mm -hmm. So, we'll let go, pick a winner in three, two, one. <gasps> Two heavens. heavens! Very nice. Very Two well heavens. done, Joe. Um, we know him. Yeah, we we, we've met him. Uh, I did, he was at Articon. He? Yeah, he's at Articon. Nice, yeah. Lovely bloke. Um, played him at um, Cardiff. Uh, he beat me, so probably draw it again, I'd say. <laughs> uh, but Joey Evans is the winner of our prize, and we'll come back when the camera's in a different position. Way! Joey Evans! Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. So the uh, box of Hunter Rocks and the Fine Cost Gandalf will be winging their way to you. Um, well, not not as you watch this, actually. No, they won't have moved. Send us an address first. Thank you. We don't, know. we don't know where you live. Like, Just put them in the post, yeah. Joey Evans. <laughs> the one half... who likes Lord of the Rings. Meet us halfway, man. Come on. <laughs> God, give us an address. Yes, congratulations to Dewey. Um, awesome to see that going to. Um, another fellow hobbyist. Yeah, well, that was probably inevitable. Yeah, <laughs> the fellow hobbyist. On reflection. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. The issue for prize is done. The raffle is done. Well, not quite done. No. We just have. We just. It's just not for this video. The raffle is done, yeah. but yeah. there was another prize in issue four. Oh, there wasn't. Are we doing that now? Not really, but... No, okay. So, oh, this is just a teaser. This is the teaser All to, right, okay, to yeah, another yeah, yeah, go on. prize video. No, so many prizes. Uh, in issue four, we set you all a little challenge, which was to find Thrain's appearances as many times as possible, in terms of the model. Thrain the Broken is a Thrain sneaky, the sneaky dwarf. <laughs> sneaky. Hides in Dumbledore. Sneaky, sneaky. So, thank you for everyone who has um, submitted their entries. You, could, you can still submit entries if you want. Um, but somebody, somebody has got the right answer now. Yeah, so we have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> you can submit entries if you want. But you won't be winning. You won't win. The Mahud we King. Have a winner. Yeah, the Mahud King, courtesy of Christian Sir Jensen, who now lives in the UK. Yeah. Um, that'd be awesome. Um, Could have saved myself some postage. Yeah, <laughs> twice. <laughs> as, as we said in the magazine, um, we will be announcing the winner in issue five. Yeah. Um, we'll probably contact the winner beforehand, or sort of, yeah. but um, we'll put that. Also, in issue five, we will be doing a full breakdown of where they all are. Um, so it's where they, yeah, it's in there. <laughs> that might be unless, unless, unless Tom, I mean, there is at the moment. I don't know. Tom might dramatically <laughs> object and demand we take it out. <laughs> it's in there at the moment. So um, who knows? <laughs> live, live update on what's live, in the magazine. Live SPG argument. <laughs> Um, Get rid of that. But yes, so um, that what was really cool about that is someone won it about I want to say about three weeks ago. So it was a it was a good competition. Mm. Like people people were sending in guesses for about five months uh, trying to get it right. Very tricksy. So, yeah, we do indeed have that. And who mm. knows? Maybe that's the sort of thing we'll do again in the future. Maybe. So we've talked about the future. We've talked about issue five. Can we? Can we tell them anything? About what? The future of issue 5. <laughs> <five. laughs> um, we have an issue. Or at least there's a doc that Damien alluded to. So we're going. Um, it has some photos. It does. Which is a huge step for us. The photo shoot is done. Or mostly done. We need to do some pickups because we are that Peter Jackson now. <laughs> Slash pick up shoots. We didn't have enough time at the weekend to do them all. Now there is a um, in a in the annals of SBG history, I suppose. This one was slightly different because uh, the SBG photo shoot was. We're recording this on a Wednesday. Was a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. We were all planned to do it, and then my little baby arrived two weeks ago, and so we went into essentially mass panic, mm -hmm. and I didn't go. Which didn't, I think, didn't want to. I think is probably the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> on the balance or everything but, um, yeah we had a chat about it and obviously it would be a huge logistical nightmare to reschedule because we had three other people coming along plus Damien would be there yeah um, and so we didn't reschedule it and Tom did it so 
the photo shoot is done with all the photos and I wasn't there. So when you see a step up in quality for this issue, you'll know the common factor. <laughs> or a dramatic drop off. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't say that because having seen the photos, mm. they are spectacular. Mm. Could you, do you want to, you were, you were there obviously. Yeah, they're great. The wordy bloke became the creative <laughs> bloke. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know, I've, the, the, the other three people who were there also had their creative inputs. You know how, I guess, you get there, you're like, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing for the first ones, and ah, oh, super excited, lots of creative input, and then, oh, I'm tired now, we're mm. doing loads of photos. But yeah, um, between the four of us, we, we got a lot of photos done in that weekend. Yeah, there's, I think the, there's 85 files sent through, mm -hmm. they won't all be in the magazine. Yeah. Some glorious reaction shots from yeah, the battle. From the battle report. Report. How was the battle report? Great fun. Yeah. Great fun. And the scenery is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing the way we see these um, things mm. develop. That if you read issue four, I believe, which came out in October, the editor's letter, which would have been written probably in September last year, says nine days before we went to print on this issue, we received pictures of the finished terrain board for issue five. Believe us, you ain't seen nothing yet. Um, as part of the I wonderful, still haven't seen anything yet. yeah, I haven't seen it. This is part of the wonderful <laughs> yeah. thing. I have, I've I've seen all the photos, but I haven't seen it in person. How is it? It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I only don't... criticism. Yeah. It's pretty fragile. Yeah. You don't want to knock into it. Did you knock into it a lot? No, but we were we were worried about breaking bits. Um, from from what I've seen, I would, I don't want to for a second do. Barry's Dolgor as a service, so I would say it is on par with Dolgor. If it, for the people who are blown away by Dolgor, we are looking at something as spectacular as that again. It is I glorious. would say it has more detail in Dolgor because what it's of lends itself to more detail. So there's more to go in and see even than Dolgor. Wow, that's cool. I would say, um, but yeah, Dolgor is the the absolute winner in terms of just modularity, modular board ever. Um, um, so yeah, but yeah, it, uh, it looks fantastic on the camera. What can, really we, can we can we say anything? I don't know. Can we? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we should give away the thing. The battle report is the comfortably the biggest battle report we've ever done for the magazine. We had. Is it 500 it models? Was a, it was a lot the of The Battle models. Report has 500-ish <laughs> models in it. I mean, think about that in terms of SVG. It looks spectacular. Like the, the board mm. is just covered. The photos look glorious. Um, it's not, like, let's take it out, it's not Helm's Deep, but the photos will, if it was Helm's Deep, it would look as if you had the right number of orcs and elves there. It's, it's kind of true scale. Um, it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. It's truly spectacular. It really, all these models have really kind of brought the scenery to life. And there's still other articles. It's not just all on this theme. Yep. So, something for everyone. Um, We've got a nice human interest story, which always is my mm -hmm. cup of tea. Like well, kind of... a couple really. Yes, there are. There are two. You're doing something slightly different. Mm -hmm. Can you, what are you? What are you writing about? Turn up. Um, once I've done it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Still in the works. Um, it, it's a similarish theme to what I've been doing before, so it's still mathsy. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But it's not a top ten. But it's not a top ten. Mm -hmm. Just top eight. Um, we have some article about how the summer scenery is made. Some mm -hmm. painting tutorials, some conversion tutorials, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a good. One. We're very very excited, and I think I think you're going to love it. I think. And it's spectacular and it yeah it looks again this isn't us bragging the spectacular stuff is like it's the scenery and how it looks it's it's, it's person who built the terrain and person who takes the photos we're just I think the the chimpanzees putting the stuff yeah down on it I think it's going to be just a great one to flick through mm. and just look at because there's so much there's so many rules on there that the photos have so much depth to go in and have a look and see and find little hidden details. And find little hidden characters. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. There is a there is a poster out there actually. There's circulating on the interweb somewhere at the back of the uh, 
back so, in the yeah. Seven Stones tournament pack, there was a issue five preview. Yeah, um, so it went mad on Twitter when that went out. <laughs> so that that's Trump out there. If you're about it. <laughs> it got that Trying big. To shut us down. Um, so if you if you find that, there's four pictures on there which give some hints mm-hmm. to um, to what's what's coming as it were. Um, but the photo shoot's done, which is the big thing. The battery's done, so now it's just us finishing it, and we thankfully have the largest lead time we've ever ever had <laughs> to get it done. Plus a baby. Yeah, plus to hopefully account for that. So our hope is to launch it at Articon. Articon. That is the the hope, and it it should be a realistic. Yes. Yeah, so now we've got the photo. If we hadn't done the photo shoot, mm. then we wouldn't have been able to. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Um, so that is that's when it's coming out. Articon, which is in the fifth and sixth of August, fourth or fifth, sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth, Friday to Sunday. Um, tickets, Get your tickets, tickets that are on sale, sale. I believe. You um, need to. James has got his own website now, which is cool. Probably, it's hotgetgamings.co.uk or is it dot com? Yeah. One of those. I apologise if you get a dodgy second site called Hot Gates Gaming. Or something else. Yeah, don't misspell that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, um, so, get your tickets to Get Articon, your tickets to Articon. Get along, and hopefully... It's not just us there. There's other, other people as done. well. Jamie Giblin. Yeah. <laughs> what a legend. Team Wanderers will be there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm sure Generation Shift will be there with his bases. Yeah, basically. Basically. Yeah. Um, Touching base. Bases. <laughs> um, but we'll be there and hopefully we'll be launching issue 5 of SPG, which we are very excited about. We are indeed. So, congrats to Dewey Evans for winning the raffle. Um, we'll be getting in touch with you and uh, mm-hmm. asking and finding out how to get that stuff to you. We have no idea why the second half of this video was so yellow. Um, yeah. We're in the same place. Don't know what happened there. Um, but yes, and we will return for the plant here when we can. Yes. All right. Yeah. Until then, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Support your Hobbit host by clicking on the links below, or just by watching what we said in the video. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy. Bye, okay.